You're saying we don't need to worry our pretty little heads about this? Well, Barbara's head isn't all that pretty, but yes. But what do you know about being a Muslim woman? Or a black Muslim woman? Or a Muslim man? He doesn't even have a beard. If I don't get to talk, I'm out. I knew this was a bad idea. I'm with Babar. We're, what's the word? Boycotting. I was going to say pissed off, but yes, we're boycotting. Well, I guess it's just uh, you and me. Well, you've got that half right. And need I even remind you folks that our illustrious she-mayor, Comrade Popowitz, has been duped once again by her public relations flack, Sarah Hamoudi. <sighs> Note the uh, Muslim surname. She mayor again. Who writes his material? Oh, suck it up. He calls me Florence of Arabia. Someone has to stop him. And now, yes. apparently, our Muslim friends are having an open house. <laughs> I suppose the uh, suicide bombers will be selling date squares. And the kiddies will be bobbing for hand grenades. Oh. <laughs> you, know, you should go on his show. You know what would be even better? Poison darts? Your tongue is sharper. You do it. Me? Chicken? No. Yes. No. Bring him on. Good. But, uh, order the poison darts as a backup. And now they're all boycotting the open house because I won't let them get up and talk. Well, if you didn't want them to talk, how did they get the idea they were making speeches? I don't know. Probably from me. Look, I used to be a lawyer. I'm still not that great with people. What do I do? You might want to try begging. You think? Time-honored Christian tradition. How do the Muslims feel about begging? Oh, we can't get enough of it. We beg for forgiveness from Allah all the time. I'm just not so sure about begging to people. How do I do that? Be a man. Grovel. Yes, yes, Mrs. Birchwood, warmer lights. But uh, your husband said we were going Provençal so you can see where I might have gotten that idea. Italian is just as nice. Yes, I'll have every electrician in town at your house in an hour. In half an hour. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Why can't women make up their minds, darling? I have no idea. Which one should I wear on Fred's show? And you've been shopping. I like the less expensive one. Okay, this one makes me look clever. This one is more flirty. What do you think? I can't decide. It's radio, my darling. No one will see what you're wearing. Fred will. That worm. Always important to look your best when meeting worms. Yeah. I'm glad you're both here. We have a crisis. Okay, which one? Clever? Flirty? Each is a form of vanity, so it's hard to choose. Oh, please. Less a mom, more Armani. What's this for, anyway? I'm going on Fred's show. Oh, in that case, I'd go with a bulletproof vest. Guys, we have a real problem with the open house. We know, we know. Sarah's taking care of it. I'll drop you off, darling. Hey. Sarah's taking care of what? Now then, this is uh, Moody. Uh, why is the mayor's office so eager to jump into bed with terrorists? But do, do you really think that all Muslims are terrorists? Why are you saying no Muslims are terrorists? No, no, of course not. I mean, but, you, but, you're well, the mayor's PR person, and uh, your husband's a Lebanese Arab Muslim. <laughs> Go winky dink. Yes. Look, do you know who Angus Birchwood is? One of Mercy's most respected yeah. citizens. Well, he's a smart man, right? Uh, he's a. <laughs> You're not going to trick me into saying anything bad about Gus Birchwood. Would he hire a terrorist? Of course not. Well, my Muslim husband is renovating his house right now. Ergo, my husband is not a terrorist. See? You think you're a pretty clever little cookie, don't you, sister? Well, it's the suit. Mm. Yeah. I got my eye on you people. Mercy <sighs> needs to be informed. Yes, they do. So, so come to the open house on Sunday and see for yourself. You don't get to talk to my audience. I don't let this man bully you. you ignore this wake woman. Up, people. Now, that is my line and it's copyrighted. And it's wake up, people. Wake up, people. Wake up, people. Assalamu alaikum. Well, I'm glad you're all here, because I have something important to say. I was just leaving. Uh, me too. I need to check my suit. Guys, please wait. I know you're all upset at me because I'm not letting you speak at the open house. I'll take stating the obvious for 200, please, Alex. Are you trying to rub it in? No. At the Friday sermon, it's my job to speak on behalf of the entire congregation. But on Sunday, I need your help. You want me to beg? Yeah. Please, I'm begging you. Stop the silliness. Oh, so now we're silly. Come on, guys. 
I really need your help. Please forgive me. Amar, stop groveling. It's really unattractive, yet strangely satisfying. <laughs> so the boycott's off? OK. Yes. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, the lights are finally working. I thought they would find Bin Laden first. Your electricians did a great job, Yasser. Thanks for fixing the lights. You're welcome. Barber? What he said. Now stop that. You're going to give me a seizure. Ah, Madam Mayor, so oh, nice of you to join us. Thank you. Where would you like me to see? Uh, how about right here? All right, thank oh. you. Oh, my first visitors, come on in. Hi, I'm the one you heard on. Wake up, people. Wake up, Sarah. What? Uh, right. what? Ah, pleasure to have you here. Hi, come Welcome on in. Welcome to the Hi. Could you take your boots off, sir? Your, your boots are lovely to see. Welcome to the mosque. Oh, oh, come on in. Put yourself in. There's lots Hello. of Hi, thank you so much for coming. Islam has five pillars, and they are. Hey, you guys got a mini bar instead of a pulpit. <laughs> so where do you keep the vino? <laughs> it is min bar, not mini bar. Muslims are not allowed to drink alcohol. Not even a couple of brewskis during breakup. Never. No hooch. I'd pray five times a day, too. <laughs> I don't think Joe's going to be converting to Islam anytime soon. If you're a feminist, why do you cover your hair? Well, it's about modesty. Hair is part of your sexuality, so you only show it to other women. So you're gay? No. No, I'd show it to my husband. OK, so you're married. No, no not yet. <laughs> Can you show it to your boyfriend? Boyfriend? Well, oh, Muslims can't even date. Mom, really? We do date. You call that dating? It's, it's more like a job interview. Uh, no. It's like window shopping. See, you don't need to taste the cake to know that it's going to be delicious. Well, of course you do. The cake could look good and still be crummy. Or you might be a fruitcake, and you know how we all feel about fruitcake. Mom, cake. step away from the metaphor. OK, so anyway, it's yeah. uh, I think I'm just going to go talk to your uh, reverend, priesty, rabbi guy. Oh, thanks. I, OK, thank you. Mom, now she's, no, it wasn't. Nice turnout, Mr. Birchwood. It's such an honor to have you here at our little mosque. Yeah, it's a bit shabby. If only they'd let you use some of that Hamoudi magic around here. Yes, that's what I've been saying, but <laughs> can I get you anything? No booze, I'm afraid. I think I'll sample some of that curry. Smells delicious. Absolutely. And then the descendants of the companion of the prophet finally reached Africa. And that takes us to the end of the 8th century. Hmm. Of course. Oh, dear God. I thought you were going to do this yourself. It's politics. I'm sure you understand. Not really. I always get my own way. Tax plan. Take two. Did you know that business is a very, very important part of Islam? Even the Prophet, peace be upon him, was a businessman. Now, if you ever need any work done to your home, you know who to call. We said bridge building, not home building, remember? Amar, look around you. You have nothing to worry about. Pat yourself on the back. The open house has gone off without a hitch. <laughs> And I hate to say I told you so, people of mercy. But I told you so, people of mercy. You know, you try to act neighborly, and they try to blow you up. Well, we can at least thank our lucky stars that this ragtag bunch of jihadists couldn't actually build a bomb that works. <laughs> All right, next up, getting to know your new puppy. I'm Fred Tupper. Those infidels tried to blow us up. This is our September 11th. <laughs> 
Don't ever say that again. But it's true. Calm down. It was just a bit of smoke. Nobody got hurt. Alhamdulillah. I'm all right. I'm fine. And we should never have called the fire department. Look at the mess they made. Yes, yeah, sir. There was an explosion. The room filled with smoke. It was a little electrical mishap. You tried to fix the fuse box yourself, didn't you? I knew it! It was your fault. Yes. You made me promise I'm a man of my word. It was the only way to get it done on time. Roll up those carpets. They're beginning to smell. Come on. I'm sure Yasser didn't mean it. Uh, he didn't do this alone. I helped him. With the fuse box? I tried to fix everything. Make peace. Create trust. Then it turns out you're only human. Which proves once again that only God is perfect. You know, you can't stop mistrust and suspicion from popping up, which reminds me, you should have those guys take that dead body round back. Uh, he's joking. It's a carpet. Just a carpet. 